All right, welcome back, guys. You know, the uh, the last video I uh, did with the uh, Monogram 55 Chevy was uh, custom stylized by Daryl Starbird. And um, Monogram did several of uh, Starbird's real cars, you know, in the model kits. This being one of them, the Predicta. Um, he built this car out of a wrecked uh, 55 through 57 Ford Thunderbird and uh, just changed it dramatically, put the bubble on it, and uh, I'm sure it was an instant hit uh, when it was finished. This is my rendition of his uh, Predicta. It's a uh, candy blue over a silver base. And as you can see, it's got the thin white walls and baby moons as opposed to the uh, big white walls and hubcaps that came in the kit. When they redid this car, he put these wheels and tires on there. So uh, I thought it was fitting to um, not build it box stock, but to build it more like the real car. There's the motor. It's got a big Hemi in it. Here, I'll shut down the hood. It's a really neat car. I've never built one of these. This is the first time I built one. Um, I've used this kit many of times for uh, for parts. You know, robbing the wheels and tires. Um, using the bubble and interior on something else. But this is the this is the time I finally did build it. I built this a couple years ago. This piece here is all separate piece. You have to mold it in if you want it to look nice and smooth. But uh, yeah, it's a really neat car. Bubble top. It's got a pearl white interior. Did a fuzzy blue uh, or fuzzy fur blue carpet in it. Let's see if I can get in there. Let's spin it around for you a little bit so you can see it. This bubble in this kit raises up but it doesn't close very well when it when it was uh just sitting down where it's supposed to be it was always sticking up you know it would never sit flat so i, I end up gluing it down i'm never going to open it anyway back in 1998 i was at a car show in paso robles california and they happened to have a model car uh, contest going on at that show and um, with a 1956 Revell kit I won the uh, custom class and I just so happened got awarded this uh, Gerald Starbird little plaque see that Paso Robles California May 22nd 24th 1998 That's how long I've had this thing it was mounted on a piece of wood, but the wood went to crap. So I uh, I kept the most important part. And I built the uh, the car to look like the, uh, the little plaque here. But um, I've got a couple more Daryl Starbird built uh, kits that I've done. I'm going to um, share them with you. This one, uh, like I said, being the Predicta, I thought I'd start off with this one really neat kit you can still buy these kits fairly reasonable on ebay you can find them for 20 25 bucks if you get the itch to build one it's a nice little piece of uh model car and custom car uh history all right guys um just wanted to share it with you quick if you uh like this kind of stuff give me a like leave me a, a comment and um Subscribe if you haven't, and definitely share it with your friends. All right, I'll see you on the next one.